Welcome back. We're here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see your news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the great British pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we did basically break down all the way to the 50 moving average earlier in the trading session, and then we rally at the end. At the moment, 50 moving average is holding, 100 moving average is holding, and it looks like we are going to test this resistance line that is around here uh, yet again. So we have tested it several times the last uh, we started here, and then we have tested it twice and nearly three times and four times, and uh, it is just a matter of time probably before we break this resistance line, and that could catalyst this um, far beyond this resistance line. If we were to break below here, then we could drop towards the 150 moving average, and that would also be the previous lows uh, down here. So the 150 is just at the same level as the very lows here. So that should be massive support. So we are basically trending in between here. We have a lot of support underneath, and we basically need to break above here in order to go higher. If we look at technical years, we can see the MACD is flat, the CCI, RSI is flat, the CCI is negative, and the stochastic is turning around. Still underneath the signal line, so it's still bullish, but it is becoming bearish, and it will most likely cross the signal line if this basically continues. So we are just above the middle of the bullish band. There's a lot of room to the upside. Also here in the RSI, it is very low, so... If we break above here, then that could basically rally significantly to the upside and also to the downside. So US dollar, Japanese yen, we have uh, nothing really happened here. 0 0.02 at this current stage. If we did break down, found the um, support down here at uh, just between the 50 and the 120 expansion moving average. And now we're trading just above the 50 moving average. If you look at, the, for example, the bullish band, we can see that we rallied up towards the top. And then we basically broke down. So it looks like we are about to turn around here. If the 20 and 40 break, then we could head back towards these previous lows or even the 100 moving average. If we take out this candlestick here, then that basically means that we could go all the way back up towards 110. Technical indicators otherwise are basically turning around and are becoming bearish. So momentum looks like is to the downside at this point. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. So also here, we basically hit the top right around the, there. So at the 12, 14, 99 is where we basically uh, reached the top. And now it looks like we are heading back towards the 300 moving average or at least the 50 moving average at this point. If you look at technical indicators, they are basically all turning around. So momentum is to the downside. If we break the middle of the bullish band here, that could mean that we could drop towards the very bottom, and that is just at the 50 moving average, a drop of 1.1%. If we rally from here, they will most likely find a major resistance where we previous have found resistance also in the past. This is an area that has been really, really difficult to get through, and we did rally up towards that point, and now it looks like we are turning back around. So, Aussie dollar, US dollar. We are basically doing the same thing. We have been in this range now for technically forever. It broke down and found the support just here at the 50 moving average. And now we're, well, just trending just above the 50 moving average. We're down 0.41%. Technically, yesterday do favor the downside at this point. But as you can see, we have found we are finding support constantly underneath. If we break above this uh, resistant line, then we are go most likely going to 0.8 and probably 0.9 break below here, well, then we that opens the door to the 200 moving average and the 300 moving average down here at 0 0.73. And if that breaks, then this is going to drop significantly to the downside. So at this point, technical indicators, they are very bearish indeed. So momentum is to the downside. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we did rally, gain most of those gains back. And now we created this inverted hammer usually a negative sign, but we were at the very bottom. We were significantly overstretched here, and we are also still oversold. So we may see this rally back towards the top before going back down, as that will give us a more basically space in order to drop further. It uh, looks really difficult to basically drop all the way down to the bottom when we are oversold and when we have well, we obviously were overstretched here. So middle of the bullish band, that could be a place where we'll find 
um, sellers coming back in and basically selling this back to the downside. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.